In this section, we are going to go through module one knowledge check. So let's look into the first question. Which of the following would a system that manages inventory in a warehouse be considered? The correct answer is system of record. Systems that are providing the truth about data elements are often called systems of record. Let's look at question number two. An agile tool that is used to manage and visualize work by showing tasks moving from left to right across columns representing stages. What is this tool commonly called? The correct answer is Kanban board. A Kanban board lets you visualize the flow of work and constrain the amount of work in progress. Your Kanban board turns your backlog into an interactive signboard providing a visual flow of work. Let's look at question number three. In which of the following would you find a large amount of technical debt? The right answer is brownfield project. A brownfield project comes with the baggage of existing code bases, existing teams, and often a great amount of technical debt. They can still be ideal projects for DevOps transformations. Question number four. As a project metric, what is lead time measuring? The right answer is lead time measuring is how long it takes from starting on a work item until it is deployed. Question number five. What is a cross functional team? The correct answer is a team that brings people with different functional expertise and often from different departments together to work towards a common goal. In this section, we are going to go through AZ400 Module 2 Review Question and Answers. Let's look at question number one. What are some of the benefits of source control? And select all. So accept accountability. All of the other options mentioned over here are the benefits of source control. Reusability, collaboration, manageability, efficiency, traceability, and automate task. Source control is the practice of tracking and managing changes to code. Benefits include reusability, traceability, manageability, efficiency, collaboration, learning, create workflows, work with versions, collaboration, maintains history of changes, and automate tasks. Question number two. What are the benefits of using distributed version control? Select all. The right answers are complete offline support and cross-platform support. Question number three. What are the benefits of using centralized version control? The right answers are easily scales for very large code bases and granular permission control. Question number four. What is source control? Source control is the practice of tracking and managing changes to code. In this section, we are going to go through module three review question and answers on AZ400. Let's look at question number one. Which repository type offers the benefits of reduced code complexity, effective code reviews, and sharing of common components? The correct answer is multiple repo. Let's look at question number two. What are the three types of branching? You need to select three answers. The correct answers are trunk based development, git flow branching, and forking workflow. Question number three. What are git hooks? Git hook is a mechanism that allows arbitrary code to be run before or after and certain git lifecycle events occur. Use git hooks to enforce policies ensure consistency and control your environment can be either client side or server side let's look at question number four what are some of the best practices when working with files in git and what do you suggest for working with large files the best practices you can use are use a package management system for dlls library files and other dependent files and doesn't commit the binaries logs Tracing outputs or diagnostic data from your builds, don't commit large, frequently updated binary assets, 
and used different plain text format such as a JSON for configuration information. For large files, use git lfs. In this section, we are going to go through module 4 review question and answers. Let's look at the first question. If you are creating a feed that will allow yourself and those that you invite to publish, what visibility should you choose? The correct answer is private. Question number two. Can you create a package feed for Maven in Azure Artifacts? The answer is yes. Question number three. What type of package should you use for machine learning training data and models? The correct answer is universal. Question number four. If an existing package is found to be broken or buggy, how should it be fixed? The correct answer is publish a new version. Question number five. What is meant by saying that a package should be immutable? The correct answer is a published version should never be changed only replaced by a later version. And we are going to go through module 5 review question and answers. Let's look at the first question. What are some of the advantages of Azure Pipeline? Mark all that apply. So the correct answer is all of the options mentioned here. You can use Azure Pipeline which can work with any platform including Python, Java, PHP, Ruby, C Sharp and Go. It can work with open source projects. You can deploy to different types of target at the same time. Azure Pipeline can be integrated with Azure deployments. And Azure Pipeline is built on Windows, Linux and Mac machines and integrated with GitHub as well. Question number two. What is a pipeline and why is it used? A pipeline enables a constant flow of changes into production via an automated software production line. And pipelines create a repeatable, reliable, and incrementally improving process for taking software from concept to customer. Let us look into question number three. What is an agent pool and why would you use it? The correct answer is you can organize agents into agent pools. An agent pool defines the sharing boundary. In Azure Pipeline, agent pools are scoped to Azure DevOps organization. So you can share an agent pool across projects. Question number four, name two ways to configure your Azure pipelines. The correct answer is Visual Designer and using YAML file. Question number five, name the four pillars of continuous integration. The correct answer is a version control system, package management system, continuous integration system, and automated build process. Question number six, you want to take your build server offline to make a configuration change and you want it to complete any build that it is currently processing. But you want to queue any new build request as well. What should you do? The correct answer is you should pause the build. A paused build will not start new builds and will queue any new build request. Let's look at question number seven. You want to set a maximum time that builds can run for and builds should not run for more than five minutes. What configuration change should you make? The correct answer is you should change the build job timeout setting to five minutes. A blank value means unlimited. In this section, we are going to go through module six review questions. Let's look at the first question. What is OWASP Zap and how can it be used? OWASP ZAP can be used for penetration testing and testing can be active or passive and you can conduct a quick baseline scan to identify vulnerabilities and you can conduct nightly more intensive scans as well. What are the five stages of threat modeling? The five stages are define security requirement, create an application diagram, identify threats, Mitigate threats, validate that threats that have been mitigated. Question number three Why would you use a wide source bolt? You can use wide source bolt to automatically detect alerts on vulnerable open source components, outdated libraries, and license compliance issue in your code. What is Azure Key Vault and why would you use it? Azure Key Vault is a cloud key management service 
which allows you to create, import, store, and maintain keys and secrets used by your cloud applications. The applications have no direct access to the keys, which helps improving the security and control over the stored keys and secrets. You can use the key vault to centralize application and configuration secrets and securely store secrets and keys and monitor access and use. In this section, we are going to go through module 7 review questions. Let's look at the first question. You want to run a penetration test against your application. Which tool could you use? Answer is OWASP SAP. This is designed to run penetration testing against applications. Bolt is used to analyze open source library usage. And the two sonar products are for code quality and code coverage analysis. What is code smells? Give an example of code smell. Code smells are characteristics in your code that could possibly be a problem. And code smells hit a deeper problem in the design or implementation of the code. For example, code that works but contains many literal values or duplicated code. You are using Azure repos for your application source code repository and you want to create an audit of open source libraries that you have used. Which tool could you use? The correct answer is Wide Source Bolt is used to analyze open source library usage and OWASP Zap is designed to run penetration testing against applications. The two Sonar products are for code quality and code coverage analysis. Question number four. Name three attributes of high quality code. The high quality code should have well-defined interfaces. It should be clear and easy to read, so self-documenting is desirable. Question number five. You're using Azure repos for your application source code repository, and you want to perform code quality checks. Which tool could you use? Sonar Cloud is the cloud-based version of original Sonar Cube and would be best for working with code in Azure repos. In this section, we are going to go through Module 8 Knowledge Check. You are reviewing an existing Docker file. How would you know if it's a multi-stage Docker file? The answer is, multi-stage Docker files are characterized by containing more than one starting point provided as from instruction. You are designing a multi-stage Docker file. How can one stage refers to another stage within the Docker file? The from clause in a multi-stage Docker file can contain an alias via AS clause. The stages can refer to each other by number or by the alias names. What is the line continuation character in Docker files? The answer is lines can be broken and contained on the next line of a Docker file by using the backslash character. Question number four. You are using Azure to manage your containers. Which container orchestration styles are supported? The answer is Swarm, DCOS, and AKS are supported. Question number five. When the Open Container Initiative defined a standard container image file format, which format did they choose as a starting point? The OCI used the Docker format as a starting point. In this section, we are going to go through AZ400 Module 9 Review Questions. This question, would adding a feature flag increase or decrease the cyclomatic complexity of the code? The correct answer is increase. Next question, would adding a feature flag increase or decrease technical debt? Increase. Question number three. You plan to slowly increase the traffic to a newer version of your site. What type of deployment pattern is this? The correct answer is blue-green. When you want to change an immutable object of any type, what do you do? The correct answer is you make a new one and possibly remove the old one. Question number five. What can you use to prevent a deployment in Azure DevOps? When a security testing tool finds a compliance problem, 
the answer is release gate this is the last section and the last module in this section we are going to go through module 10 review questions let's look into the first question which of the following are main architectural components of chef the correct answers are chef server chef client and chef workstation let's look into question number 2 which of the following are open source product that are integrated into chef automate image available from azure marketplace the right answers are habitat and inspect question number 3 which of the following are core components of puppet automation platform the correct answers are master agent and facts let's look into question number 4 complete the following sentence the main element of a puppet program pp manifest files are class resources and the right answer is module question number 5 which of the following platform use agent to communicate with target machines the correct answers are puppet and chef question number 6 true or false the control machine in ansible must have python installed is it true or false correct answer is true question number 7 which of the following statements about the cloud init package are correct? All of the answers are correct answers. In Azure, you can add custom configuration to Linux VM with cloud init by appending the custom data parameter. Question number eight. Terraform only supports configuration files with the file extension .tf, which is false. Let's look into the last question. Which of the following core Terraform components can modify Terraform behavior without having to edit the Terraform configuration? The correct answer is overrides. So thank you so much for taking time to watch these videos. I will meet you on the next video. Until then, take care.